This is Twit. Public service announcement from Sophos that is a sponsor of – it was a sponsor that appeared yes, last week sponsor. on this podcast. Yeah. Huh? Yes, our new yeah. sponsor. Yeah. New sponsor, Sophos. Um, I've got a link in the show notes. Um, and it this is th – they are the source of this bit.ly link I talked about, bit.ly slash S-N-F-B-A-D-S, which – expands to a link also in the show notes for a page that <clears throat> I don't know going in the normal, like in the front door, how, how, how easy it is for a Facebook user to find this. But this show is, it shows your, the so-called your ad preferences that you may have never known that you had. Uh, I'm not a Facebook user. I do have an account because I, I needed once upon a time to like look at the privacy and security settings that Facebook was offering. So I logged into that dusty old account in order to bring up two pages that I have here uh, in the show notes. So if you if you do bit.ly forward slash S-N-F-B-A-D-S, uh, you can learn what Facebook is doing for you. And so there are six main topics, your interests, that is what, it, what Facebook has somehow independently determined your interests are, um, advertisers, your information, your ad settings, which you may not have known, I didn't know, that you had, hide ad topics, your ability to hide ad topics, like, like parents could hide alcohol ads from from minors, for example, and then an explanation of how Facebook ad ads work. And when I when I saw ad settings, I clicked on that. And so I, it's got three three sub settings. And so for the first one, for example, the first one, which is default allowed, it says ads based on data from partners, which is you know exactly what we've been talking about. It says. To show you better ads, we use data that advertisers and other partners provide to us about your activity off of Facebook company products. So, and that's allowed, but you can click it and say, uh, no. Then the second one, ads based on activity on Facebook company products that you see elsewhere. And that ex is explained when we show you ads off Facebook company products, such as on websites, apps, and devices that use our advertising services, we use data about your activity on Facebook company products to make them more relevant. And that, of course, is also default allowed, and you can say no. And then... There was – the third is ads that include your social actions, and they explain we may include your social actions on ads such as liking the page that's running the ad, who can see this info. And then I had this set to no one. I don't know why it's set to no one, maybe because I don't have any links to something or who knows what. But anyway, there are uh, – that's just one of the six things that I opened – um, I just I, – I, I thought it would be of interest to any of our listeners who didn't know that this was there. The This is some nice disclosure and some controls, but also uh, for our listeners to forward this to their friends and family that might want to know. Um, um, in Sophos' coverage of this, they said uh, Fitbit, pollination, jaguars – Snakes? <laughs> Mason jars? They said, okay, fine, Facebook. I'm not surprised that I clicked on those things. In fact, in, in fact, on mine, under – I think it was on advertisers. Mine were cars and realtors, hmm. and I have no idea why because, you know, I'm driving a 2011 car – and I owned my home since '84. Since you know, not, not, nothing. There's no the movement wrong guy in, on, on that one. Yeah. Any, any of those two categories. So it's like okay, but though, but they're like they were like 
12 different ads and they were all realtors or advertise or, or, or car sales. So anyway, they, they, they said, but, but, but then uh, so, Sofo says, but when did I ever click on anything related to Star Trek Voyager or cattle? Um, and then, anyways, so so the guy cattle? writing <laughs> cattle, the guy writing this on Sofo says, my this feels weird reaction makes me one of the fifty one percent of Facebook users who report that they're not comfortable that the ad driven company creates a list that assigns each of us categories based on our real life interests. Yeah. It's called your ad preferences. And they say you can view yours here. If you drill down, you can see where Facebook gets its categorization ideas from, including the things we click on or like, what our relationship status is, who employs us, and far more. So anyway, just an FYI of uh, some useful information. Uh, I thought this was a nice page to know about, and I don't know – if you're just looking at your Facebook page, if, if it's easy to get there from, from the front page, but it's, I uh, know your ad preferences on Facebook and, uh, some interesting information is there. 